Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I decided to do a week ahead for Gemini. We're going to see what comes up. What do we have for Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week ahead. What do we have for Gemini for the week ahead? Hermit reversed. Star reverse, feeling hopeless, hopelessly alone, perhaps. You know, starting out like that, you may be feeling like you're alone, you're in exile, right? Sadness, paranoia, perhaps. This is hopeless, um, and that's just a feeling, okay? That's just a thought. Um, and you get the star reverse, this is why, 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 why is this happening? So the week may start out with you asking yourself, why is this happening? This could be a rejection. Perhaps you're feeling rejected or you've been rejected or you're rejecting somebody. Okay. Um, there could be going, this could be like a midlife crisis. Why is this happening? Feeling, you know, um, this could be depression. Okay. With these two cards feeling you know, uh, in a state of despair, you know, why is this happening to me now? That kind of, maybe this is a test of faith. Okay. Cause this is a Jesus consciousness. Maybe at the beginning of the week, you're feeling tested. Okay. You're feeling tested. Ooh. So this is Monday, Tuesday. We have the tower reverse next to the ace of wands reverse. So there's a lack of growth. Something has fallen apart. It's crumbled. It's probably crumbled very, very fast, very suddenly. These are both very sudden energies. There's nothing. It's permanent loss by the looks of things. You need to rebuild. You're going to need to rebuild from the bottom up on Tuesday. It's like um, extremes. I'm not sure if there's some health problems. There could be some health problems over here that are developing. And, and, and it could. this could be like a collapse. I'm not saying that somebody's going to collapse. But, you know... Um, this is a painful change that you never saw coming on Tuesday. I'm not sure what is going on, but this is a feeling, um, you know, this is going downhill. Uh, a spark being put out in some way. No desire, no drive, no ambition, no excitement. Tuesday is... Um, Maybe you're rebuilding. Maybe you're needing to rebuild a foundation. You Maybe you're needing to start over by the looks of things. You need to start over from scratch on Tuesday. You know, that's what it looks like to me. Um, something may have fallen apart and you're going to need to rebuild from the ground up. I mean, that's what it looks like to me. Um... This is like failure to launch as well. Something didn't launch. And so there's a lack of desire to uh, do much. Put it that way. I think Tuesday is going to be kind of disruptive to you. Maybe you're dealing with some painful situation that is, is draining you. It's draining your energy. You're feeling drained. Um, because this is major disruption. It is. This is disruption. So you're, you may be feeling drained. Something has obviously happened. Ace of Coins on Wednesday. Thank the Lord. That is a big, huge golden opportunity. It's a huge offer. This is a new beginning. This is something you have manifested. This is a gift. This is a blessing. Okay, the Ace of Pentacles is a new solid opportunity coming in. Something you can touch. Something you can hold on to. Something that is long term. So on Wednesday, you got something beautiful coming in. Um, this is huge. Somebody's, it's like, look at this. Look at the muscles on this. This is something big. It's heavy. It's, um, you see, I went like that. You know what I mean? It's going to be like a wow kind of thing on Wednesday. Wednesday is the 13th. Five of Cups. Now, somebody is going to be offering you something. Perhaps you have been moping. I see the depression here or the sadness or the grieving or whatever the hell it is. I don't know if there's been some sort of rejection or there's been a fight maybe or something like that. And there's sadness, there's crying, there's grieving, but there's still love here. Okay, there's still love with that Two of Cups. You may not be seeing it. 
this could be even be a big huge apology or a gift or something like that but this is is crying over a loss crying over spilled milk moping crying not realizing that there's still love that there's another opportunity there is definitely the two of cups behind you you don't see it the two of cups is a partnership it's love it's a union so there's a union that you don't see that is coming in okay this is a union it's it's a somebody is going to be giving you something this is somebody that is very strong and determined it looks like a buck here we got a this is a buck this could be an alpha this could be an alpha male that is making a big huge offer and it's it may be a surprise you never saw this coming you know something didn't grow something didn't manifest but it did manifest maybe you didn't realize it was maybe you're sitting around crying over this and it's coming uh, something is happening. There is a new opportunity here. This is a golden, a new opportunity. It's big. It's huge. It's huge. It's coming from somebody that is very, um, it looks like, well, this person is strong, muscular in some way. I saw that made me it reminded me of Superman. I don't know why. Anyhow, this is an op. This person is coming in with a, something big, something permanent, something long term. That's on Wednesday, the thirteenth. Then on Thursday, the 14th, we have the Hierophant and the Ten of Wands reversed. Now, the Ten of Wands is making a conscious change. Somebody is ready for balance. They're ready to let go of their baggage. They're ready to let go of their burdens and commit. This is a commitment. So somebody may be, you may be, you know, uh, dropping something. Some Or somebody that you're dealing with is dropping a burden. They're dropping whatever they were. Maybe they're holding a grudge or whatever it is. This is... Um, they were overwhelmed for some reason. They were trying to prove a point, but now there's nothing left to prove. They just want to let it go. Maybe they have been divinely guided. Uh, maybe they've received some counseling or they've received some um, wisdom from somebody that is very wise. Somebody may have given them some advice. Somebody ha is, has... Uh, decided maybe to let bygones be bygones i'm not sure what is going on but they have been guided or told you know to uh make a change because this is a conscious change somebody is making a conscious change on thursday and it has to do with commitment it has to do with believing and faith stepping forward in faith they've been guided to maybe trust there could also be a confession okay on thursday somebody may be saying something um They've changed, maybe. Or they will change. Maybe they didn't want responsibility. So they were blocking a commitment or something like that. But now they, maybe they're ready to open up. Something like that. What about Friday the 15th? Page of Cups reversed. And the Seven of Swords. So this person is... Uh, <sighs> Well, Friday the 15th, sleeping, tired. Um, and this card, the Seven of Swords, this person is so comfortable with what they do that they, they feel like they can get away with anything. I mean, the Seven of Swords and sleeping on the job. I mean, this person is obviously very tired. Um... <laughs> interesting for the seven of swords i don't get it with this card i have to go with exactly what i see um friday page of cups reversed this is uh unrequited love shattered dreams a rejection somebody is saying no just go to bed just go to bed i'm not interested on Friday. It's like, nope, just go to sleep. And this could be somebody that's not interested. This person is lazy. They sleep. They're not interested in a relationship or they're tired. They're exhausted. They've been, I mean, if you think about it, he's got five swords. The five of swords is a conflict. This has been too much. It's been overwhelming. It has. I can see that it has. So this is like saying, no, I'm not interested. I feel like Friday, it's like, nope, I'm not. I'm just not interested in this. feeling cheated 
we have somebody here that is not opening up, not wanting to engage with somebody that is lazy on Friday. That's what I feel like this is. I feel like on Friday, it's like, I'm not interested. I'm not interested. Saturday. Let me get one more card for, for Friday. One more card. One more card for Friday. That was a couple. One more card. That Seven of Swords is betrayal. You betrayed me. You betrayed me. That kind of thing. You betrayed me. No. 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 Nine of Coins. I'd rather be alone. I'm not interested. Yes. I'd rather be alone. I'm doing quite fine. I'm fine on my own. You go ahead and, and sleep. I don't need you for anything. On Friday, that kind of thing. I'm, I'm better off on my own. I just want to be alone. You know, I'll just continue to do what I'm doing by myself. I don't need anybody. I don't need anything. Being very self-sufficient. Um, I'm not interested. I feel like that's what Friday is. Friday is, no, I'm not interested. Unrequited love. This is, somebody's bubble is getting burst on Friday. I'm quite fine by myself. You know, they may, somebody may decide to that, you know, you lied to me, you cheated on me, you deceived me, whatever you did, you're lazy, that kind of thing. I'm not interested. I'm better off by myself. She's not releasing her dove. She'd rather be alone. So we, it feels like we have somebody here that is on Friday. They're just choosing to be alone. Nope. I don't want to. Nope. I don't want to. Wanna. So what is Saturday? The devil. Tempted. Very, very tempted. Temptation. Tempted by lust. Codependency. Six of swords reversed. So we got some trouble here. We got trouble on Saturday. We do. Saturday is going to be troublesome because somebody is going to be tempted to do something for instant gratification that could... You know, start some trouble. Okay, this is trouble. You know, the devil, this is in a cage. There's an opportunity for freedom. There's an, on Saturday, you hope, you have, you're going to have to make a choice. Do you want to engage in unhealthy behavior for instant gratification that leads you to not peace. It doesn't lead you to peace. It leads you to more trouble. So on Saturday, you are going to be tempted to do something that feels really, really, really good. Okay? You're going to be tempted to do something that feels good. But, whatever this is, you want to you wanna be careful with your choices. You want to be careful because all is not as it seems. This could lead to more trouble with the Six of Swords reversed. This could cause some trouble. This could cause a lot of mental conflict. This could be with somebody who brought you mental conflict. This could. This is somebody that um, maybe on Saturday you have somebody that you are very attracted to that is coming in and they um, they hurt you. If you see what's above, they hurt you. They caused you a lot of grief. They cause you a lot of grief, and maybe maybe you have been grieving over this, but you're starting to move on, and this person is coming to reel you back in. What the hell is this? This is a very unhealthy situation. I feel like uh, you are going to need to find your strength to free yourself from this situation. Do not let this person that that trapped you, that caged you, that uh, made you so troubled and caused you so much anguish um keep you there that kind of thing there's uh, you're gonna be tempted on saturday it starts on wednesday it starts on wednesday and on saturday that you're gonna be very 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 tempted to but this is like saying nope i'm not going 
Nine of Cups. Saturday, Nine of Cups. So this is wish fulfillment, having it all. Somebody may, may want to wine and dine you. They may want to wine and dine you. They may be, you know... <laughs> It looks like whining and dining you to me. Um, they may start it on Wednesday, and by Saturday, they're going to try to uh, to reel you right in by the looks of things. Um, they may see you as what they want. They want it. They want it, they want it and they, they're going to do whatever. And it has to do with sex as well. By Saturday, somebody is going... Is, is, uh, the time is ripe for some uh, <laughs> trouble, put it that way. This is trouble. This leads to trouble. This does lead to trouble. I feel like you have somebody that is going to be pursuing you and they hurt you they hurt you in the past and this is Saturn retrograde after all this person may see your vulnerability or they may see that you've been grieving and they're gonna they're gonna do whatever it takes to make you satisfied okay this, yeah they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna do whatever it takes to satisfy you um, they want to have their cake and they want to eat it too. put it that way they're going to try to wine and dine you. They're going to make you a huge offer. They may give you a gift, okay? This is somebody that is going to try to make you feel better, and they're going to do whatever they can to make you feel better. Um, but with that Six of Swords reverse, you got to be careful because it looks like this is trouble, okay? You know, that don't, I think this is trouble. <laughs> with the Six of Swords reversed. Nine of Swords. Yes, this is worrisome. It is worrisome. It is worrisome. I think this is um, extremely worrisome. You may be having somebody that has a lot of regrets. They don't want you to move on. They don't want you to let them go. Um, and now they want to make you happy. Something like that. It feels like we have somebody that wants, doesn't want you to go. They don't, they, they want to keep you under their wing. They want to keep you under their wing. They may even apologize. This could be an apology. Somebody may apologize. Um, let's get an overall energy for the week for Gemini. I think it starts out, um, why is this happening? Why, 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 why? By midweek, this per, whoever this person is that um, caused the whys is offering something big okay wanting something trying to make you feel better or something like that it's the overall energy for gemini of course six of cups reverse somebody coming back from the past there's somebody coming back that you have been with before. This is a soulmate connection. And they don't want to let you go. So I think it's going to be an, at the end, I think more towards the, I think it's going to be an emotional week. I, I, yes, I think it starts out as emotional. I think it ends as emotional. And this is about love. This is a flood of emotion. So it's going to be a very emotional week for you. And this has to do with somebody that you have a soulmate connection with. Um, this person, there's been some previous hurt. There's been some previous hurt. There's been some, 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 some sort of, uh, rejection. But now this person is coming in with a big, huge offer. And I think you're going to be distraught. I do. I think that you're going to be distraught. 
I mean, you'd probably be like, oh my God, oh my God, I don't dare, I don't trust, I don't believe, I don't believe, I don't believe you. But this person's going to say all the right things. Uh, and they're going to want to wine and dine. They're going to wine and wine and dine you. And I, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do, Gemini? Three of coins and the eight of coins. That is work together. Put in effort. Um, <laughs> that's working into the midnight hours. So it could go all night. It could go all night. What are you going to do? I think that you are going, this person's going to do everything they can to prove themselves to you. Um, and I think that they are going to put in a lot of effort. This is somebody, and I feel like you're gonna, you're going to work with them. Yes. I think that you're going to let them prove themselves to you and you're probably going to choose to, uh, make it work. So. I feel like this week it starts out as as a uh, why is this happening? You may be feeling hopeless. You may be feeling like rejected, or you're going through you're alone, or you're paranoid, or you're uh, I don't know what not doing well. You know, um, so Monday and Tuesday feel like you know this is this is chaotic. It's this is falling apart. Why is this happening? Um, there's there's you're feeling drained. You may be feeling really, really tired. Um, this has to do with a soulmate, I believe, or some sort of connection that may not have gotten off the ground. Okay. It may not have gotten off the ground or something like that. It failed to launch or something. And now this person has decided that, you know, they want to prove to you or something They've received some sort of guidance. They're ready to make a change. They're ready for balance. I think by Friday, there's somebody that is saying, nope, I'm not interested. I'd rather be alone. I don't want to do this anymore. This is You're free from this obligation. This is false. You lied to me. You deceived me. I don't trust you. You know, you're a liar. You know, I don't know what you're doing, but I don't trust you. By by Saturday, this person is um, really putting a lot, in a lot of effort to satisfy you and make you happy and do whatever it takes to get you to um, trust them. And I, I feel like you are going to, um, I don't know, you know. It feels like you're going to be spending the night with this person. Now, if you're married to this person, then this is this could be a makeup, you know, a making up. Um, if this isn't a relationship situation, then... I think it is. Good luck.